Knights of Mars. And at the University of Pittsburgh's School of Social Work encourages professors to offer students extra credit to participate in a radical leftist rally in downtown Pittsburgh. Now here's the uh, email of People's Agenda for Change, National Day of Action, November 29th. In the most recent election, we saw a demand for change. We saw that the majority of people are caught up with the rig- economy that only benefits few. We saw people want an economy and political system works for everybody, not just a slight few. On November 29th, tens of thousands of people across the country will be attending, taking part in National Day of Action to declare people's agenda for change, meaning communism. People in every city in the country will be taking to the streets to raise the minimum wage, help workers organize, support illegal aliens, they call them undocumented workers, I call them illegal aliens, fight climate change, which doesn't exist, not the way they're saying, and confront structural racism and sexism. In other words, these are a bunch of communists. They are Sandinista communists. On Thursday, students enrolled in Pitt's School of Social Work, along with faculty, received an email urging them to sign up for People's Agenda for Change, National Day of Action, on Tuesday, November 29th. Just what we needed, more troublemakers. Service as specialist and assistant to the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, Mary Patricia L. Hattab. Sent employed professors to give their students extra credit should they attend. Where the Dickens do they come up with these titles that are 20 words long or something? It's really ostracizing when your own department sanctions an event that's so exclusive to one set of students, along with extra credit opportunities for students who attend. They are also they also receive free transportation from Pitts Cam- campus to downtown Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, wonderful. During the email, March is about taking a stand and saying that Pittsburgh will not accept business as usual, as well as challenging the rigged economy. There's a link to the sign-up page provided in the email. And it's too small to read. Pitt's campus is among the hundreds of other campuses to protest against Trump after his election victory on Tuesday. On Thursday, at least three students were arrested after a fight broke out between protesters and campus police broke out in the Litchfield Towers lobby where police are, were forced to use batons and knee strikes to subdue the unruly. The unruly. This isn't the first time. This has happened. I rarely feel welcome in class, especially when my professors openly harp on how terrible capitalism is and how Trump supporters are insufferable. (sighs) Well, I thought the American Sandinista thing was winding down, but apparently it's not. Who knows where it goes from there? This is the weather suppressing these. the people for now, but that's not going to last forever, of course. Maybe the winter will give them a cool off time and they'll uh, go on uh, with business as usual, but they claim they're not going to. So watch out for that date, November 29th. Uh, could be trouble. Supposed to be in all cities, not just there in Pittsburgh. Supposed to have communists parading up and down the streets. These are communists. Uh, Joseph McCarthy was completely right. History has vindicated him. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching. This is getting me depressed.